From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Good evening and welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Eli Gaines. Tonight, the UK women get ready for their run in the NCAA tournament. And our interviews with Kentucky softball coach Rachel Lawson and a UK alum who's been named the NBA G League Executive of the Year. Well, let's start here. Kentucky women's basketball has its first NCAA tournament game this weekend. That is tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. The Cats will take on Big Sky champs Idaho State this Sunday at 2 o'clock. UK had some ups and downs throughout the regular mm -hmm. season, but the team had one of the most difficult schedules in the nation, playing in 11 top 25 matchups, four games against top 10 opponents. Idaho State played zero, zero ranked opponents this season, finishing with a record of 22 and three. The Cats are coming off a disappointing exit from the SEC tournament, but they think that they're ready for an extended NCAA run. We're a way better team than what we showed um, a couple of those games. Um, we're just gonna, we've only gotten better since then. Um, we know what we messed up, we know our mistakes, and we watched the film, we critiqued, and we just moved on past it, and we just focused on the next one. This is why they call it March Madness. Uh, everybody's going to play uh, their best, leave it on the floor. No one wants to go home, and this is what you sacrifice for uh, all year uh, to peak at the right time. So they call it March Madness for a reason, um, but I am uh, very confident in our team going in. We've had some of the best practices uh, in the last week, so I think we'll peak at the right time. Eli, they also have one of the most fired up Wildcats in yeah. Ryan Howard after being named to a couple of second team All-American honors. Yeah, it's good though that AP kind of came in, saved the day a little bit <laughs> in uh, putting her on their first team uh, award list. But yeah, you got to peak right now. We yeah. know heading into this season that this was one of the most talented Kentucky rosters that they've ever had. Mm -hmm. Drayon Edwards is going to be the X factor in this game. She has to perform down low mm -hmm. to keep advancing each and every week. But start on Sunday, work on the little things make it to the round of 32. All right, turning to Kentucky football. Well, this year's team replacing several leaders on both sides of the ball, but DeAndre Square is back on the heart of the defense. DeAndre has been a guy that has been a, a big time leader for us, really since he stepped on. You know, he was a quiet leader. Uh, you know, as a freshman, you're not saying much, but what he did, he showed up every day and worked to be quote, you know, undersized, you know, when he showed up as a freshman and to play the, the reps and the snaps that he did as a freshman, you know, he led and he, he gained trust of his teammates by his play style and his work ethic. DeAndre Square, you know, don't get it wrong, is very much a heartbeat of our defense. I've been here, I've been playing a lot, so I feel like I have to, you know, communicate even more and take guys under my wing, like even after workouts or after practice I come upstairs and you know it's a it's a it's a lot of guys up watching film and like I'm I'm guiding them through like stuff that I see to help them better better themselves as a player. 57 tackles in the 2020 season uh, Keith DeAndre has been one of those players ever since he arrived on campus about three four years ago you always wanted to see him develop and mm -hmm. you can see it mentally also physically mm -hmm. he's each and every year, it just seems like he's getting bigger and bigger. I, I mean, do you remember those pictures last year of Yusef Corker when they came yeah. out, how big he had, mm -hmm. and now we see this from, yeah. from DeAndre Square, and yeah, he has. He's, he's been a leader, he really has, and now maybe he's becoming more vocal now right. that he's getting up there in age. All right, mm -hmm. another Kentucky <laughs> wide receiver has entered the transfer portal. Junior Allen Daly is the third Cats receiver to leave the program so far this offseason. Daly started all 11 games last year, but had just 14 receptions for 139 yards. There may be some light at the end of the tunnel for college recruiting. The NCAA is set to meet next month to vote on lifting the ban on in-person recruiting that's been in place for more than a year because of the pandemic. The current dead period ends on May 31st, and if it's not extended, football programs will be able to host recruits and conduct camps on campus. There's some interesting basketball news involving two former members of Kentucky Athletics. There are reports that former Cats assistant Kenny Payne who is now in his first year as an assistant with the New York Knicks, will interview for the vacant head coaching job at DePaul, which yeah. involves former UK Deputy Athletics Director Dwayne Peavy, who is now serving as DePaul's AD. For the first time since 2012, the Kentucky baseball team is opening SEC play at home. 
as Missouri arrived in Lexington for this weekend's series at Kentucky Proud Park. The Cats and Tigers were set for a 6.30 start this evening with the second game scheduled for tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. You can watch the live stream of those games on Watch ESPN, while Sunday's game will be a national television broadcast on the SEC network. Well, they rolled through their non-conference schedule and have gotten off to a great start. Yeah, we're talking about the UK softball team. A conversation with head coach Rachel Lawson is coming up next on BBN Tonight.